Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have a Reiki Pin and Pin Interactive Lock. It is um, a lock I've only tried picking one time so far. Um, I got pretty close to it and I realized I was holding the uh, turning tool a little bit off. And it, uh, yeah, I was grinding into the side of the body. So I'm going to redo this and uh, try again. This time actually I'm going to use this turning tool right here. And uh, see if we can get ourselves an open. And one. It's pin. I think that's pin two. There we go, pin one. I had to get the inner pin there, I guess. I hit it just right. Make sure that's not a, no, okay. Let's make sure that's not a false set. I know two is the interactive, but nothing on that yet. Nothing on three, four. In lifting that, I may have overset something. Oh, maybe not. Like maybe it's got to click on five back there. Pin one. There we go. Inner pin for one. There we go. Pin two. It's being stubborn as hell. There we go. Got underneath it. Pin one came down again. And one was, yep, yeah, it's stuck. Definitely overlifted. You can see it with the eyes. There we go. Fix that. It's like pin two for sure. There we go. Big false set. I don't think that's an actual false set on pin two, though. We just barely hit pin four there. Got a little bit more set. So I think we just about got her open here. Pin one. If I get under it. There we go. There is our open. Cool. I am going to actually cut away to gut this thing. Okay, we have it all gutted, and we can see that is actually not five pins. It is only four pins. And I found that super interesting when I was taking it apart. It confused the hell out of me at first, but I looked inside, and what's happening is the first pin is actually not there. There's only four pin chambers to this lock. And so we do see that it does have spools on two and four. It also has torpedo pins on two and three, which is kind of cool. But again, uh, being four pins, that you know definitely drops the security there. So you can see only the four pins holes over here on our plug right here. 
focus for me. There we go. So only four pins, and you can see the interactive element is on the first plug hole right there, which is the second pin on our key right here. So that's how that works. There is nothing special about the plug, um, but yeah, that's it. If you're looking to get into pin and pin, this would be a fun one to pick up because it's only four pins. Anyways, this is the Rykey Interactive Pin and Pin Lock. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.